Now, don't talk about it. We don't have any um, Canadian listeners who are going to be like super upset at y'all. They might write us like a gently worded letter and have it delivered by Moose. (laughs) Eh? (laughs) We could be the first people to ever get our asses kicked by Canadians. You think about that. No, I think we lose to them at hockey all the time. No, actually, no. Are they not? Oh, they're not. That's they embarrassing. Like, they have like two, maybe three NHL teams. Steal that teams Robin Williams joke. They got Canada. one sport. Yeah, curling. Okay, two sports. I guess they have all the winter sports, don't they? They're probably good at them all. Yeah, they're probably good at them all. Why wouldn't they be? Welcome, horrible people, to the Horrible Opinions Podcast. As always, I'm uh, your horrible host, Kenny, eh? I'm sorry, eh? I'm here to say we can't cancel the Valentine Day dance because we need those Valentine Day dance dollars, eh, Ryan? Goddamn Jaws. What, um, no. what movie are we watching? <laughs> okay, so imagine it's a holiday-themed movie, Daniel. Is this going to come out on the holiday? Yes! You know, like the, like the last one was? The last one was perfectly timed to be like three months late, but this one... What's the movie? Well, see, a? we couldn't do it on the day last year. Yes, but, we could have. Uh, because, um, well, Harry told us not to, and he would have came back and he would have killed the fuck out of everybody. They so use all, like, all the same names and everything. That's crazy. Right? This one used the same names as that other one we watched. Yeah, it's very similar to that other movie we watched, but this one is actually called My Bloody Valentine. What was the other one called? No, oh, that one was called My Bloody Valentine, but without the A. Interesting. That's right. We brought it back. We're doing the OG this year. Taking it back. It's a good movie. But is it better than the remake? Nope. So the remake is better in every way imaginable. <laughs> except. Except. Except the ending. Except. Theme song. And the, the ending theme song, yes. The, oh, the, I, the, I was gonna, yeah, the theme the, song, yeah. The, the, how this movie ends is much better than how I thought the remake ended. And the remake did not have, did the remake use some like throwaway 90s music? Yeah, it was like, uh, uh, wasn't it like uh, some garage, or not garage, yeah, some, uh, but, uh, some warehouse, some warehouse this rock? One, this one wouldn't have used 90s music. That would have been amazing if it had, though. It really would have. It really would have. No, they yes. came out with a number one top hit. What would you call the genre of this? Folk, folk horror? Folk ballad. Folk ballad. Once upon a time on a sad valentine is a place known as Hedinger Mine. It's banging. Can I just say mine movies rule? There's not enough. And they're all great. Number five fan Jadar would definitely think they're great. Yeah. Have you ever been in a mine? Yeah. Your mom. Oh! Technically, he was also in your mom. (laughs) It's a real close relationship. (laughs) Have you been in a mine? Yeah, my mom. Oh! (laughs) For nine months. Got him! And both were flooded. Oh. Are you talking about the mine and and the mom? (laughs) Like, you go in and you had to take a boat tour. Mm. That's some rap. Daniel, right what's that sweet, sweet <laughs> uh, canoe. Valentine, Valentine, uh, what is it called? Not a rewrite. Synopsi? Synopsi. Synopsi. 20 years ago in Canada, Ooh. we're in Canada this time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, mine, mine collapse, mine tunnel collapse, because uh, this time instead of like one one guy fucking up, it was like management fucking up, right? It was like two guys. Yeah, two guys. That's <laughs> twice as bad. <laughs> they, they, Yeah. And then there's a mine collapse. And then Harry Ward, Harry Ward, then Ward, Harry Ward, in Harry, I think Harry Ward is uh, from Deadly Premonition. Uh, Harry Warden has, eats they when they re- when they rescue the people, they find out that he done eaten them to stay alive, and he's crazy, and he went well, on a massacre ago. again. And then uh, the legend says they sent him to the Insano Asylum, but that the, oh, this happened on Valentine's Day, the dance. That's why the guys left. The, their job early because they wanted to get Liddy Titty at the Val the V Day dance, but that's why he doesn't like Valentine's Day. And this is twenty years later, and people think he's back because now they're bringing the Valentine's Day dance back, and bad stuff's happening. 
Also, there's a Friday the 13th in this movie. And a Saturday the 14th. That's and a Saturday a the 14th, yeah. You think they did that on purpose so they could get that Friday the 13th? Probably. Even though I don't think they made a big deal. I would have made a big deal about it if it had been me. I would have been like, oh! It is kind of in- interesting that like Friday the 13th, we got Jason drowns because camp counselors are out ha- partying, you know, having their own menage a trois. No. Yeah? No. Yes. I mean, they could have. I don't I don't know what they were doing. That's right. We don't know what they're doing. And here, the right. whole town's also, having a his party. Also, mom, his mom worked at the camp and just didn't look after him. Well, Harry Warden's mom was it, <laughs> is, <laughs> in the mine. is Mabel. Well, no, they don't like wi- women aren't allowed in the mine. Well, you see, they don't wear their proper outfits. That first lady we see in the mine, I was that's very OSHA confused. violation. I was very confused by this first scene and why this was happening. She's like, she wanted a little Harry Ward in her. I, it also went on for forever. Hey, for the first yeah. time in forever, we got to watch like for a 35 year old playing. Forever. I don't know. How old are these people supposed to be? Well, they're drinking. I don't know. But the Canada's weird, streamy. right? So, no, I, I'm willing to accept like tw- early 20s, late 20s. Okay, so they're drinking and they all work in the mines. Yeah, but that starts at like 12. That's what I was, yeah. But there, but then there's the Canada thing, and I don't know what goes on up there. there let no alone what went on up there in like what eighty one. After you've brought down your first moose, you're given a, a can of moose heads, and then you're sitting to work in the mine. I drink a moose head. It's imported, eh? Sorry, it's imported. Eh? Now I had to tell that lady because she starts stripping off in front of that guy. Yeah. In the mine, he didn't even take off his mask and stuff. She don't even know who he is and stuff. But I had to tell him like, you know, hey, like if she works down there too, like he needs to be careful. Because she's a miner. Does she work down there? <laughs> well, you gotta, you know, because they made a big deal mines. later on about not letting w- wormans into the mine. Yes, that's true. Yeah, that's how like you. He... That's how you wake up a Balrog. I'm sorry, Daniel's not appreciating your humor today, Kenny. Daniel, we have that's okay. We got miners, Was there a joke? We got miners banging miners. Okay. No. And you know what? You know what Harry said <laughs> no. right there? He well, said, "Look." He said, <laughs> "Well, that's not Harry." He said, "The mask stays on." But that's not Harry. How do I know? The mask stayed on. And you know what else he said? He said the socks stay on. <laughs> <laughs> the mask and the socks stay on. And then he takes his hands up there. I'm like, yeah, squeeze it, dude. Because he's like squeezing her boob. And she's but there's got a no heart. boobs. Like, no, there's no breasticles in this movie. No, there's not. They're hidden beneath a, a bra. Then they might as well not exist. Well, they had to show the little heart tattoo. Now, tell I gotta tell you, this is impressive, okay? Yeah. He takes this lady who's done stripped down in the mine, and he's wearing this mask where he probably can't see shit, and it's poorly illuminated in this mine, and she's got a little tiny heart tattoo above her boobicle, mm-hmm. and he lines her up and pushes her against a thing on the wall, which is not the penetration she had in mind. Well, you don't know what uh, you don't know what like agreement they came into before going down there. I, you're right. I don't. It's Canada, man. They're weird. But he manages to take her and shove her on a little spike on the wall to perfectly line it up with that tiny heart tattoo on her chest. Yeah. So like that's impressive because like he he can't see the spike thing from where he's standing, but he's able to like guess it perfectly to push it right out through the heart. Did you Very guys good. watch the version that has like yes? I guess it's like the director's uncut where like the. The super gory stuff that was cut out is back in like it's, shitty it's, resolution. This is one of my notes. Yeah, so all the like the cool gore shots have that are a much lower quality than the whole rest of the movie. So they're like unfinished, right? Yeah, but it looked good. It changes the tone. They look pretty good. Yeah, it is a different tone. It's more of a dirty tone. It's dirtier when it's that unfinished. Now sometimes yeah. I preferred the. I think maybe we just one kill maybe where when we'll get to it where I'm like, mm, you actually it was better that this was cut because it's more effective not seeing it. I thought that for is one- it the is it the lady with the water sprinkler through the mouth? You nailed it. Yes. I know your you body. Dude. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I know your body. I know what you like. You like water coming out of their mouth holes. <laughs> you like fire cannon horror. So, oh, man. It doesn't have to be horror. That could be erotic. It, 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 I guess that's true. No, I thought. He kind of looked like a giant grasshopper with those big eyes when he was wearing the mask. Does that do what you think? Mask stays on. Mask Watching this stays just on. really hammered in just how much of Deadly Premonition took from this. That's a good movie to take from. Well, so like I Deadly think. Premonition is this plus Twin Peaks. Yes. And I don't know why I didn't connect that before, but maybe I did. Did I say that? No. Another one? No, you've always no. been Twin Peaks. I don't know that you've ever seen this one before. I've not, Well, I've never seen this one, but I thought... I. Maybe, I don't know. I thought I would have drawn that connection when we watched the other one. 
but different movie totally different story every time you guys killer. have showered with other men how much towel snapping goes on oh, <laughs> heapings whole heapings, whole heapings and there's of a lot towel of like, snapping there's a lot of like looking they, at dogs they could though, not too. wait to get in the shower with each other like that's oh my the God. highlight of their day how do you get that much soot like so evenly spread across your face like you're, naturally like under, i know they put it on you're for like a wearing movie. a mask too aren't you uh, well harry keeps his on Mess right. stays on and socks. And you know what? I bet he's clean as hell because of that. No, because he doesn't. He keeps it on while he showers too. He's got his socks on in the shower. <laughs> well, then he's even on. cleaner. So he's like a rubber ducky that's in uh, the bathtub. Tr- oh, those are. Oh no 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 no. He's probably waterboarded himself. Yeah. I, I, look, if my work had a shower, I'd shower after work with all the boys. Probably. That's weird. Showers of private time. You didn't. Uh, oh, you man. didn't shower in the group showers at Boy Scout camp <laughs> with my with my with my Boy Scout leader. My troop leader? Well, no. well, he wanted to make sure we all got clean, so... Did you? No, that wasn't a thing. What are you talking about? You're crazy. <laughs> Did, Did you? Did you not to tell? <laughs> I think... Yeah, we showered. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I think we're at the age where, like, group showerings were phased out. Yeah, I'm younger than y'all. Like, you actually got, like... By a lot. Plastic by Kenny, by a you lot. Could, you could do... Unless you come to China, then it's... You're walking in the public bathroom, and then there's just a guy at a sink going to pound town... With his washcloth, Wait, like getting all up in there. Oh, but it's well, ca- you gotta clean. Well, yeah, and it's like it's, he's just cleaning. Well, yeah, he's just doing his thing. Probably uncircumcised, you know. He's really got to go at it. In the sink. I don't actually know what that means. What uncircumcised? Let me tell you who this movie should have been oh, about. God. This movie, sh- me, sh- no, it- John Candy. Uh, John Candy. <laughs> well, that's as close to the, ho- the mustache. Hollis. Yes, that's as close <laughs> oh, to okay. Hollis as we're gonna get. Now, I'm not gonna lie, Kenny, you're Hollis. You're Hollis 100%, right. and that's why we love you. This movie had a Ned. I'll take that. It did have it. Well, As Howard this Ned really yeah. wasn't funny, though. Oh, Howard. I don't know. Howard was just, what was it? Hey, 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 Gretchen, you know what would look really good on you? Me. Me. Yeah. I'm like, that was probably Oof. a new joke back then. Also, they should have used his real name. His real name, the actor, his name is Alf. That's great. I love that someone named Alf. He looked like an Alf. You know that uh, I'd before Muppets... Like people were named like Kermit and all them characters and Grover, but now now you can't name people that. Are you saying Muppets ruined those names forever? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Me- meanwhile, I'm over here. I'm gonna name my fucking kid fucking uh, Megatron. Yeah, <laughs> love Megatron. It was when they finish. Okay, so they're mine workers. They're all showering and they're talking about how who who who's back? Is it Axel? No, TJ. T TJ's back. Okay, so Teej. Teej. TJ's back. He was gone. Now he's back. And then someone lets loose that now Axel's hanging out with TJ's girl from long ago. It's it, it's the remake. It's the remake storyline. We get it. And then they're all showering. They're getting out. And then the banjo music starts. Yeah. And I'm like, this is so Canadian. Yeah. This is how Canada thinks Americans like how much. Ta- no, this I, this is supposed to be Canada. Is it? No, because every time I see the Moosehead beer, the it says imported. Right, but Canada you can import, can import stuff from off. other states, other provinces. Oh, you think it came from Quebec? Quebec. Uh, Quebec? Well, I don't, there's other provinces other than Qu- Quebec. There is Alberta. Quebec. And Ontario. There is Canada. I mean, that's can a city. we. I mean, no, I think that's a province. See, I don't fucking know, but I said it. You go to Nova Scotia. You can go to Nova Scotia. Nope, that's a, that's a different thing entirely, Nova Scotia. Alaska. Did you oh. say Maine? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I'll say it again. Canada's weird. So. I like this whole this whole setup with our guys, you know. Uh, after, I mean, the shower is good too, but after the shower, <laughs> like the someone shower. makes someone makes it awkward about the whole, you know, he's dating your girl now, and they just kind of like longingly stare at each other. But first off, TJ, he got them dreamy eyes, like he's wearing the guy liner, looking good. He's looking like he could be like a prince pretending to be a knight who gets called out by a pauper pretending to be a knight. Like those guys have kind of similar like dreamy eyes. What, uh, what what guys? What are you talking about? I was talking about a Knight's Tale. I couldn't remember oh. an old boy's name off the top of my head. Who you know is a, like a prince, but then he wants to be in. He wants to joust and shit. I understand. And they won't let him. Ralph and, yeah. Macho. Anyway, do, nope, not Ralph nope. Macho. But TJ's got some dreamy ass eyes. But then someone's like, uh, "Hey, uh, hey, uh, last one to the town uh, has to buy the drinks, eh?" And uh, then it's off, and they're all like running. They're out there like, yeah, the music's playing, and like they're all half, half naked, getting in their sweet, 
trucks and cars and whatnot, and pants are being pulled down around ankles because we're children. We're having fun. Are they it's not a good children. Time. No, this didn't happen. And what version are you watching now? <laughs> they're not children. I think you might Bro. you might have watched a fan edit. I don't know. It's um. It's fine. My bloody diaphragm. Oh. <laughs> Dead air. Dead air. <laughs> you leave it in. Um. No. So, all I'm saying is how lucky it is to have a uh, that many coworkers you actually want to go hang out with. Well, I don't. I mean, I think they're the only people in the town. They're the only young people. This is it. This is the whole town. It's well, like they imply later, like there's other like crews in the mine. But I'm like, oh, where you are think they? this is like the shift two or shift? You know, one yeah. of them. Yeah. Mine work don't stop. Well, except when it did. It stops on the weekend. It stops on the weekends. Mm, maybe because the mine was empty when they went in it. Maybe that's a close part of the mine. That was Harry's side. Like, hey, don't go over here. Haunted by Harry. Turns out Harry, get this, guys. Harry. There was no one in the entire mine uh, settlement when they went there on the 14th, which was Valentine's Day, for their Valentine's secret Day. Valentine's Day party. Well, that's because there's not supposed to be anyone there, but Harry's there because that's where he's got his money printing press where he. No, you're thinking makes of an episode of Scooby Doo. <laughs> what? No, it's. <laughs> It's just a guy in a mask. Well, he is a guy but, in a mask. You're right about that. And he's he's printing money. Money, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> and that was the green money. Paint. <laughs> money. I mean, I don't know. I just like when it turned into random cannonball run. <laughs> but dude, they get to the place where they're decorating for this Valentine's Day dance, and they're all like getting to their ladies. Which, I mean, TJ, he doesn't have no lady anymore. He's all sad, staring dreamily over at his old lady. And, like, one of these dudes goes over, like, to his lady, and he picks her up by the head, kisses her. Yeah. I'm like, he could be the killer. He probably is the killer with the mask on, picking people up by their heads and shit. Y'all ever have that done to you? No, not that I could recall. I have. Did you like it? No. Yeah, it doesn't seem pleasant, because you also have to kind of squeeze the head, I imagine. Yeah, 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 Because I was a little guy, you know? Yeah, was. Was. And we Once also got future. to meet Mabel, and Mabel's a legend. Oh my god. Mabel, tell me about her. So she launders Harry's <laughs> money. <laughs> she does have the laundromat. <laughs> she is a madam, after all, yes. So had both of you watched this? Oh no, Daniel, you hadn't seen this before, but Ryan, you'd seen this before right, we watched the remake, right? If yeah. it's before 1990, let's say, four, I haven't seen it. Aliens? Godzilla. I've seen it. Robocop? Not seen it. <gasps> Willow? Ooh. Seen it. Any John Carpenter movie, seen it. But that, you know, it's rare, right? Chasing Amy. I don't think that's before 94, but I haven't it's seen not. it. Oh, it's okay. Look, Mabel is a legend, okay? And then what was it, the police chief that's talking with her? Who uh, All the old people blur together. There's old mayor. Chief newbie. There's old chief. Mayor Hanniger. Hanniger owns the mines. And he's the mayor? And if his Collusion. son thinks he can just come back and not work at the mine, he's my son. He's working in the mine, eh? Working in the mine. Yeah, now I mean, do that with a Canadian accent. Now, if, he's, eh? Eh, if he's okay to work in the mine with the family <laughs> business, eh? I don't want to put too much pressure on the boy, but he went and left and went off. and don't. No one knows what he did, eh? So he came back, eh? I thought he went to California. He did, eh? Well, thought, and now he's, he thought those eyes were going to take him all the way to the top of Hollywood, eh? He came back, and now he's 40. Eh? <laughs> 20 years. Uh, let's show not biz, forget about Showbiz ages you, you know? Huh? Bartender Who? happy. Oh, the doom, doom Slayer? Yeah, but he works at the bar. You have to go to him to get the Doom. No, but he's just shouting it. <laughs> it's his bar! That's true. Also, like, there's not supposed to be any parties, but is, isn't a bar just like a nonstop party? Not in Canada, <laughs> not the way they do it. Party rocking in the house tonight. Oh, Mabel's all like, oh, this is going to be the best dance in 20 years. And the mayor's like, mm, X nay on the 20 years, A. Okay, A. A. Why are all the, all the old people so grumpy? Because Harry Warden killed their friends, and they had to raise their friends' kids. Mm. Oh, okay. But no, it sounds like none of them even fucking remember what happened. They've done a lot of drinking since then. So it's only 20 years ago, and it was a big deal, but they're like, I don't know what happened to this guy. Did we lock him up? I don't fucking remember. Now imagine, like, so 9-11 was, all, was like over 20 years ago. It's like, what did we, whatever happened with that? You said you'd never forget. I feel like I forgot. Yeah, everyone arrested. Good. Yeah. 
They had it coming. This is a nice little town, though. This town sucks. What are you talking about? No, oh, look at these people. These are some nice people. I did. That lady finds a nice pipe. Oh, it's... I don't like... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> lady finds a nice pipe. No. The pickings here aren't very good. Okay. What pickings? Look, you what gotta are you get your about? lady and you gotta get her early, okay? You don't... It's the ratio is pretty even. It's pretty from what you see. But we can't all get now, Patty, okay? These are minor. Ho this Hollis is the got minor Patty, people. And they're good. They're like they're the couple okay. they're the couple who, of the town. But that's it. Who got that lady at the party that walked out fucking holding three hot dogs? <laughs> that fucking like deep throated war. Because <laughs> like, I'm partying with that chick. <laughs> like yeah, I ain't gonna go back. I know I'm gonna eat at least three of these. You know hot the dogs, worst so kill just... of this movie is that is that not even scalding water, hot dog water. It, that water could have been cold, but it was the hot dog water, and he still would have died. <laughs> still would have died <laughs> in the hot dog water. <laughs> You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Oh, uh, so innocence. They stole from this movie. We've yeah, we've we've seen um we've set up now why we shouldn't be having this party. This this dance like oh yeah you know is it because happening. they're not gonna have any adult chaperones is that why no, they shouldn't no have adult it? chaperones and there'll probably be some drinking that's yeah, not a good but you know the mayor he's like he's leaving with the chief mabel's already told him like it'll be fine dog and he's got a little valentine and he thinks it's from mabel and they're riding away in the truck and he starts to open it he's like i do love this damn candy and they read a note and what's the note say ryan i didn't write it down oh I count on you for that. You know you who else didn't down. write it down? The killer. There was nothing on the note. Nothing. It was blank. Are you sh uh, I said something. I thought it said ominous. something. Like um, no, it did. But I was making a. I was. That was a. That was a yoke. That's a yoke. Yoke. He. Uh, he takes off the top like tissue paper, and it's a human heart. Well, and we don't know it's human. Who could have been a pig heart? Could have been a horse. Yeah. Well, the mayor's reaction. He just like. Oh, he sits back and he's like, yeah, and he starts like blinking a lot. And he's like, ah, and it's like, are you freaking out? Are you are you ejaculating? Like, oh, he was it? coming so hard. The chief said they're driving. He's like, ah, he's like, what's going on? I don't know. I need a towel to snap at you. Get you out of this fun. <laughs> <laughs> they flip the sirens on. They turn the car around. I don't think this was supposed to happen, but this the asshole dog, dog yes, comes the out dog. of nowhere yes. and starts chasing the cop car. I'm like, that is not planned like, at all. No, that's like, it's like, get away. Like, they almost killed the dog on accident. No, I think the dog almost killed itself. Yeah, that's a good point. It hated itself. And then my next note is, uh, this ain't no fairy tale, little girl. Oh, that's because Happy, I think, is spouting the... The legend? The legend. Yeah. At the bar. He's all like... Because Happy runs a sweet little bar. Beware the 14th if you value your life. Yeah. Nachos are See, Irish. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, then we, but now we got some uh, what, fake, you're gonna say some more drama. No, we got fake hands because it's time for the knife stabbing table game. Every everyone in America loves. I don't think they were fake hands. I think they were just doing it super slowly. Those looked like fake hands. What's, what do we call that? Mumbledy peg? Go gobbledygook? Gobbledygook? I don't know. They're playing the knife but game. Also, they're... like when it's like showing the actors and you're not seeing their hands, I feel like they could have been going a lot faster. No, because then it would seem really. If you go back, that would have been hilarious if they were just like the, the, the <laughs> like the close up shot, no hands. Then we get the close, and it's ding, ding, ding. That that's a space balls kind of move, Daniel. I don't know. I, I talk, like mm. if I had made this movie, if you had made this hey. movie, what would you have called it? What would I have called it? Oh God, Ryan really put me on the spot. I didn't prep for this at all. Um. Miner's Delight. Guy rockets his flight. <laughs> <laughs> Miner's, Miner's Delight. delight. <laughs> uh, saved it. Very good. Very good. This town is accursed. They're, yeah, they're doing that. Well, it's cursed because TJ is over there leaning against the jukebox, looking back over at his old lady. Which one was that again? Patty? Sarah. No, Sarah. Sarah. No, Sarah. No, Sarah. And no. she's like... She looks at her current man, Axel. Yeah, I've never met an Axel that wasn't cool, you know? And uh, she's like, hey, I gotta go. I'm gonna go put some music on. He's like, all right, cool. And then proceeds to hey, walk three feet over. Hey, don't go talking to that guy, though. Yeah, this bar doesn't seem very big. She goes it's, like three feet, feet to the away, jukebox. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and they're having a private conversation that it's he a, can't hear. Well, they're, they're not looking at each other. Because, you know, you can't talk to someone if you're not looking at them. So that's, yeah, how, that's, that's that way the boyfriend wouldn't know. He won't know. And all I can say is, I think he sucks at shuffleboard. 
I think he was throwing those things way too hard. <laughs> I was gonna say, like in my vert, so when I if I made the movie, she would go over there and she would put on the X Files theme. So then everyone in the bar would throw have to the th- would have to throw up the Mexes. Yeah, what I think. I'll, okay, I'll drink them. I don't want to. I don't want to put you two on the spot, but just give me a little. Yes, it's a wig. Give me a little taste of that Harriet song. Harriet song. Harriet. Harriet. Oh, that one. No. Is that what you're talking about? That's no. not what he's talking about. He keeps the mask on. <laughs> no. And also his socks. <laughs> no. He will be going into your mind. Chef? Chef? <laughs> he finds your heart. He did not fart. <laughs> he wears the mask because his face is hideous. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like to res- the- rescind my request. <laughs> no, take it back. <laughs> what Harriet song are you talking about? It's, it's the, one of these serving uh, waitresses. Is named Harriet. One oh. of these winches. One of the serving <laughs> winches. Um, serving. Yes. It's, uh, I'm like, wait, this it's, isn't uh, the Medieval the, Times movie. Hold on. This is the. God damn it! You did this to my Valentine's, brain. The Valentine's. The Valentine's Virgin. Yes. What? Oh, yeah, that yeah. lady. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, diff. Oh man, different times. Like, remember Let when you could I smoke can... in bars and they had picture of playmates up on the wall? Yeah. And you could play aggressive games of slide puck. I don't think that's what that's called. It's called slide puck. Kenny, is it called slide puck? It's tabletop shuffleboard. Yeah. <laughs> I like on it slide, slide puck, puck though. Of course you do because it's like <laughs> it's what you're doing. You're, you're sliding the puck, eh? That's why I call football yeah. throwball. Why do you call it's a hand egg? Yeah, football, football. When you don't really kick the ball that well, I would, much. Some of the most important parts of the football are kicking the football. So it was all. It also when the first when they first made the sport, it was the they didn't play with a ball. They played with a foot. Like a human foot, they is like the loser of the last game. You chop his foot off, and then you play with that for the next one. So you don't want to lose, especially if you lose twice in a row. You don't have any feet at that point. Then everyone starts calling you diabetes boy. You don't want to be that again. <laughs> <laughs> There's no coming back from that. I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> what happens now? Oh, well, okay. Here's what happens. So no, explain the Harriet song. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm he, looking for Kenny it. Kenny just did. It's like there once was a a a, a lady named oh, Harriet. The, they 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 something something the, hasn't right. lost her cherry yet, and she's the something something something. Oh, okay. cherry yet. When they sang it, I heard chariot, and you're like, yeah, get them horses going. Yet <laughs> 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 she comes over there, and she's like, all right, you guys, who ordered the moose head? I did, you gorgeous slab of female fleshiness. There is a young barmaid named Harriet who's never been robbed of her cherry yet. Oh, try as she may, this girl can't get laid. A valentine virgin named Harriet. I don't think ladies generally want to get robbed of it. Since when? (laughs) This is news. Since 2024. Ah, new year, new ladies. New ladies. Well, look. I'm looking. I'm looking at this heart. I'm pretty sure we brought it to the lab. It was either the chief. Yeah, and that's where I'm like either the chief. I wanted chief this guy to come back the with like, it's a like wig. sauce on his fingers <laughs> like he had been licking it. Not another one. <laughs> Not another one. <laughs> you they have to be eating when they're messing with the body. That's a movie thing. I it, it always they have to either, you put the sandwich on the corpse. They have to be eating on it, drinking on it, fucking on it, wanting to fuck it, wanting to fuck you on it. <laughs> Wanting you to watch them fuck it, wanting it to fuck them <laughs> while you're watching. Just tell me what you want me to fuck. And then it's like, you don't get a response because they're dead. That's how I like it. Ugh. Right. Well, what can you tell me? Yeah. It's... it's a human heart, young woman, about 30 years. And when when did, like, there's a lot of cigar in the mouth talking. When did that, yeah. when did that stop being a thing? Once we, we discovered cancer. No, you don't have to smoke it. <laughs> Shit. You chew on it. You chew on it. Right, but the amount of nicotine in a cigar. Look, I can't hear a honey. Or I guess not nicotine. What is what is the bad stuff? Tabasco sauce? The amount of Tabasco sauce in a cigar. Don't go telling anyone about you slander. Henry Warren Tabasco sauce that we're putting in our I can't understand a goddamn word you're saying. Why can't you be like the why can't you be like the coroner from Silence of the Lambs who was like, Yeah, they uh, there was all kinds of leaves and things in the body. Leaves and sticks and things Leaves washed and sticks up in and their things mouth. washed up in the body. Well, you're just a be sexy like little stink bug, aren't you? Yeah. Eh? Eh? All I'm saying is these guys, they're like, look, we're gonna come to a we're gonna come to blows at some point over this one lady over here, and 
you know, I, she messed up my shuffleboard game, and Happy's over there telling everyone, like, hey, you shouldn't even be having this party, and, uh, you know, the mayor and the chief and all that, they're out there investigating hearts, not even telling nobody yet, till they find out how what kind of heart it is, and then it's after they figure that out, they're like, all right, we better, uh, we better cancel this here shindig. Did they cancel the shindig before Mabel? After. after? So it's after Mabel, so... We get... Now, here, here's when they cancel it. They cancel it when there's no one to run it. That's a good Damn, point. Damn, Daniel. That's a good point. I didn't think about that. You're right. No, he's just an elected so, official. He can't make decisions. Can't make decisions. It's not about it's not about a killer being on the loose. It's about these two dudes not wanting to oh, step up and have this. to put on a party. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not responsible. What if someone got hurt? Nope. Can't have my name on this done it's look canceled. this was mabel's thing guys i think i don't think she would want us to go through look, with it she spent we're all yeah. mad that mabel abandoned us it's on her we can't it's she on went her. and had a heart attack so she went and got addicted to laundry fabric softener does that stuff smell good probably yeah, right dog. probably yeah so, does, does it taste how good as, as good as it looks though that's the question well you didn't do the tie pod challenge Right, but it's not really a challenge. It? You just eat it. What's challenging yeah, about that? Yeah, that's not hard. I eat stuff all the I time. Eat, yeah, I eat food all the time. So I asked because then you would have tasted it and you would have told us. And that's not fabric softener, Ryan. And that's personal. Are they not? <laughs> yeah, I don't have to tell you everything I do, Ryan. Are they not two and one? Sometimes three. Like conditioner, uh, shampoo, shampoo, conditioner. Well, you shouldn't do that. That stuff's bad. But you shouldn't eat Tide Pods right. either. But you know, if you're gonna do it. Get the one, get the dual function. You shouldn't climb into giant washing machines either. They didn't. It was well, the dryer or dryers. If they don't want me to climb in, then why is it so big? Why are you so little? Hey, I got a riddle. So for I can you. climb into like a kangaroo pouch. That was probably a speed queen, by the way. That's the only way you're getting that kind of durability. That's pretty true. Pro- a speed queen will still work after that. Also, so Dude, who those did things it better? not set up original with remake. They just go forever. They put well, in a okay, lot of Okay, we'll get to, stuff. yes, we'll get to that, Daniel. But here's your riddle, Daniel. Roses are red, violets are blue, one is dead. I'm behind you. And so are you. No, that's, no, that's not, that, that would have been I wanted better. it to be, I'm, be, I'm behind you, is what yeah, I wanted. Yeah, our riddles were, God. Oh, sorry, what was the riddle? Are they cooking meat on that engine? Yeah, just ignore me. Fuck me, I guess. I would. <laughs> Cook meat on that engine. <laughs> yeah, I think they were. At first I thought, because like normally you see like aluminum foil and you're like, oh, there's cocaine in that. Or banana bread. <laughs> or banana, banana bread. bread the only yep. two possibilities <laughs> this is true i'm a zucchini bread guy myself but that's okay well yeah no who uh we discovered uh, mabel's body uh in the uh a, dryer uh, who, a, who did it better that's the next day uh ooh, that's true now the, the the director's cut of this that dried up mabel puppet looked pretty good i, I think guess. the dryer one in the in the remake was uh unnecessary it was strictly there as a callback to this. Right, because it was just like a character you saw for what, like one scene before that? It was like, wasn't yeah, it like the, nan- the babysitter? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. I completely forgot the remake had a dead body in the that, dryer. That's how, that's how unnecessary it was. Yeah. I pointed it out in our episode that you clearly didn't listen to a year ago, you son of a bitch. A year ago to the day, because we totally released it on this same day that we released this one. You sound like you don't want to do dual harmonicas with me, and that hurts my feelings. Oh, I'll do, I'll dual harmonicas with you all day. Harmonica. Harmonica. No, it's- I said sick harmonica skills. It's my Sarah. She's mine now. You back off, TJ. I'm not going to back down, TJ. This is mine. Well, Axel. Okay, man. And here comes Kenny, I mean Hollis, to offer TJ some turkey, I think. Some wild turkey? I'm not sure. No, it was just some, like, food out of his aluminum foil. It could have been cocaine. It could have been, um- could have been it. Could have been, well, banana, could have been bread. banana bread. <laughs> could have been pecan pie for all we know. Yeah. yeah also, I don't think you put pecan this... pie like that. But... Yeah. Yeah. The killer in this, he breathes even funnier than the parody killer in student bodies. Like, he is breathing so fucking loud when he's, you know, what was it, a phone call? I don't remember. But just, oh, do you think uh, his asthma funny to uh, you? Yeah. It's a... Typically. We always make fun of that kid. Push him down. Push him down. Tie his shoelaces together. Drown him in the river. Yeah. Harmonicas are sexy, though. Okay. Say, is it, the, is it the way that is it the way that they play them that you like with the mouth yeah, movement? Yeah, play me like a harmonica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On my butt. Yeah. I would take TJ. Would you make the same noises? 
If, well, it all depends on how much uh, hair I've removed back there. No, well, I thought he was. I thought he was like asking. Like, oh, I don't like one of those uh, grasses you find outside that you go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. Sometimes Poor there's people grass back music there. instrument. Yeah. Changes the pitch. Yeah. But yeah, you're right though, Ryan. I'm glad that John Candy came back over there and you know calm down TJ. Is that why I like this character so much? You think? Yeah, I really wanted to go watch Canadian Bacon after this. Also, he really doesn't asleep. look like any of the other characters. He he does it. It's a mustache, and he's a, a bigger guy, but he's also like he's Kenny shaped, not an asshole. He's yeah. like on screen, like nice to his girl. They seem to have a rocking relationship, and I got really sad when they died. Yeah, he he would have been the mm. new mayor of that town. Yeah, he seems good, but what are his political beliefs? Yeah, everyone. There's mandatory towel snappings for, as discipline. Half your work shift is spent in the shower. Yes. Hey. Mandatory. Mandatory, and I'm in there with you making sure. We're going to be exploring caves. Because it's a mine, not a cave, but... What is a mine if not just a cave? A mine is like man-made. I'm sure it started out as a cave. It could, but then I think you do modifications and then it becomes a mine? Yeah, but I think I have a note here that says something along the lines of, do you have a record of my hairy balls? (laughs) Um... (laughs) <laughs> and I think that's when they call the psych ward and they're asking oh, if they right. have records. Yes. That's, yeah, that's right. Like, it took okay. me a second. So the sheriff the sheriff goes into the laundromat and he just walks right by the the dryer, which has the obvious blood spinning in it. Now to Daniel's point, how long does a dryer go? I'm guessing it goes like 12, 24 hours because it's really low heat. What do you think? If you need it, low and slow, baby. That's how you get a barbecue. That's how right, you, but dry Canadian that's laundry. That's not great. That's not great for like a. If I'm, I don't want to have to wait around for my laundry for twelve to twenty four hours. No, who waits for their laundry? You're doing a really, really big comforter. Sometimes I do because I because I'm lazy and I forget to do it. And then I and then I have, but then I need it when I wake up, right? And then I gotta wait for it. Oh, but then do you complain? Do you go, oh, damn, awful smell. You go, you, st- well, you yeah, stink, usually. Mabel. Dead Mabel, you stink. <laughs> yeah. You smell like burnt fish, Mabel. Damn, girl. Damn. You smell damn. like you smell like a moose damn, head. They, with the, mm, the thing with head. the upside down hearts, did they do that in the remake? Because mm, I like that. I don't, I don't recall. But also some of the hearts weren't. He didn't pull it, put like 100% effort into it because some of the hearts were like really high up and he probably couldn't get to them. So he left those ones alone. He don't got hops. Well, he, I don't know if he could see. Now the mayor and sheriff are in there, and there's they're they're <laughs> they're poking they're poking Mabel's body. They're just having fun with it, right? They're like like she looks like she looks like Canadian bacon now. You look at this. Would you eat this? She looks like the stuff Hollis is cooking on his radiator. But hey, mayor, um, guess you're not getting lucky. Y'all, give me a minute. I'm married. Married then to why the job. His wife. Give, yeah, I was gonna say. Also, yeah. gotta manage the mine. Hey, we gotta shut down this Valentine's Day. I thought Day dance. they had. No, they shouldn't have said Mabel died of a heart attack because that's an outright lie. What they should have gone with is Mabel died of a heart condition. Mm. And mm. yeah, Mabel had a freak dryer accident. COVID didn't kill Mabel. Mabel being unable to breathe killed her. <laughs> mm. Yeah, lady, you can't take two dicks at once. I think I know what that note means too. What? I think what? that's when Sarah <laughs> is talking to, <laughs> to TJ and Axel. Also, I've seen some uh, some documentaries that uh, make they make me question whether, in fact, you can. I want to know about these documentaries. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll link them to you afterward. Huh? <laughs> Thanks, bud. No, uh, what was it? Sarah was talking to I think Sylvia, Patty, like walking down the street, Patty. And talking about her man problems, you know, like, well, I still do like TJ, but I'm with Axel now. TJ left, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, the lady's like, you can't have them both. I'm like, yeah, you can't take two dicks at once. And I'm like, can you? But then. Yeah, you definitely starts, can. This is a part where the movie dropped the ball. I dropped the ball so hard here. Because okay. I did a setup and there was no proper payoff. The uh, Patty, or Patty says, I've got a dress yep. and it's yes. cut down to here. And slit up to here. And first off, I'm like, I can't wait to see that dress. Wasn't that impressive? Secondly, I thought that should have been how she died. Well, I mean, she oh, she, yeah. pro- she broadcasts it. She says, I I probably won't get out of there alive. And I'm like, that would have been beautiful foreshadowing. No, no. Cause... I mean, she, all she did was take a pickaxe to the chest. Yeah, I figured at that point, they maybe they knew 
that some of these scenes weren't going to make it, and so why bother doing it? Nah, would have been better. Well, I'd be like, yeah. I know. And then TJ's all like, I'm going to kidnap you now. And Sarah's like, I don't want to be kidnapped, TJ. And he's like, get in the car, bitch. And he's, she's like, I don't want to get in the car. <laughs> and then they drove her up to their favorite spot. And I'm like, I think TJ just kidnapped Sarah. I think I just watched that happen. No, she was smiling, dude. No, it was a kidnapping. I, I put that down. Yeah, it's a kidnapping. And then they're at their romantic spot. And he's like, remember this spot? You know, remember when we brought our kids here? Sorry. And then they left and they went off to college. Because shit, how old are we supposed to be in this movie? We're like 40, right? 45, 50? So sorry. Sorry. Oh. Sorry I did a kidnapping on you, eh? He kissed her, though, dude. And I'm like, oh, shit, that's not your girl anymore, dude. Get off him, Jesse. And I'm like, who's Jesse? Yeah. I wish I had Jesse's girl. Also, when they took Mabel out of the dryer, why'd they call an ambulance? That seemed like unnecessary. They could have just threw her the in the Ambo back of the truck takes, at that point. Uh, there's procedure. The Ambo takes them where they need to go. The hell? I was going to say the burrito shop. They got a burrito. Oh, I, so I, I don't think they have a burrito shop. Because you know how like the further no- the further north of the border you go, the worse the Mexican food gets? Were you with me? Yeah, we don't well, know how close. Were you with me on that trip, Daniel? No. Yes. They're closer oh, okay. to a border yeah, than that we are. That was you. Okay. I'm just, I can't remember events anymore and not unless there's towel snapping involved if there's towel snapping involved i can picture it in my head but yeah i think you're still missing that the border's right there dog that's our southern border not their southern border mm, man yes i don't see borders this this stupid <laughs> sweet, tell me about it sad, i don't see directions hallmark romantic sad music is playing and what so TJ just shows back, and Sarah's going to be, um, I'm going to leave Axel now, because TJ the Flake showed back up, even though Axel's been taking care of me this whole six months. I just, I don't like Sarah. This makes no sense no, to me. She, like, what do you mean? Okay. They I don't, both, why they both leave, suck, lady? just one of them apparently sucks less. So he could not like them both. The only person I like in this town is John Candy. Yeah, it's Hollis. Yeah, it, it is happy. Hollis. I didn't like Ned. Surprise. I, like, I hated Ned. I love Ned's death. Mm. Mm, how did Ned die? Chief's wearing a wig, though. I don't Still remember. saying it. That's not his hair. You don't, think so? you don't think so? Yeah, that's a wig. I don't think wigs have been invented yet. We go back to the bar, though, after the kidnapping. There's uh, I got a note that says, great prank, dude. I don't remember what the prank was. Oh, the guy setting up the the mining suit in oh. the, like, uh, behind a door. Yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. And they open it, and the pickaxe comes down. That was the doomsayer doing killed. that, right? Yes. Yeah, happy. Uh, poor guy. That's right a good prank. Eye. And the right. movie did exactly what I wanted it to do there, so that's good. Yeah. And then he gets stabbed to the eye. And the like, logistics of it are a little weird, but whatever. He did it three times, and so that's that summons the Harry. <laughs> right? Right, but I, but like, is there another entrance to that room? Or no, no, no. He did, this, did Harry... he did the summoning circle on the floor. You just didn't okay. see it. And then he did. And the, the okay. vessel was the mining yeah. suit. And he opened the door three right. times, hand goes up. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It does make that noise, yeah. but he did. Uh-huh. But then the third time it doesn't yeah. because he's been summoned. And that now Hap is confused. So he comes back and goes, I'm confused. Do you want yeah, a moose head? Nothing, right. Because I feel like they sponsored us. Have a moose head. And then you get a uh-huh. have a moose you head. You get an axe pick. Oh my god. Up through the lower jaw and out the left eye. So good. It was good. Then they dragged them. But I really so enjoyed how 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 happy he was at his little prank. Because he kept going back. It's, he really was his crazy Ralph before he turned into crazy Ralph. Like he was like he was going that direction. Like I would have thought you check I, it once to make sure it works, and it, then that's you crazy go Ralph's on your way. This is but crazy like, Ralph's no, this Canadian is too good. brother. This is too good. Yeah. I'm gonna keep doing it. Keep doing it. Funniest fucker in town. I'm Everyone wondering if it, e- if it was even meant for anyone else, or for it's just a little gag for him. Like he's dr- he's clearly drunk right now, so when he wakes up in the morning, he's gonna forget he did it. I just assumed he was gonna accidentally kill himself with it. That would've been funny too. Yeah. All I'm saying is, go get me a coffee, Ben. That's the okay. uh, deputy. I shot the sheriff. Was his name Ben? Yeah. Now go get me a coffee because oh Chief needs to and be alone he, with this would chocolate. You believe this? Know what I'm saying? Ben was useless. That was uh, that was from Mabel. She wanted to get Aww. laid. Oh, good honor. Yeah. Is but that what the card said? Yeah, <laughs> yes. Like, Split me open like a coconut. <laughs> I do want it. I do. Flip want me it. over like rotisserie. Uh, over and yeah. over for Roast hours. Me. Roast me on a spit, you two. Oh, two I want of a, them. a mayor chief sandwich. <laughs> we got Eiffel Tower, this lady. Eiffel Tower. Even though that's in a different country. Not in Canada, pretty sure. Pretty sure. Also, the store should really stop selling those Valentine's boxes to Harry in the first place. Like, anyone comes in here, buys these fucking heart-shaped things. Like, 
Chief, I got him. Uh, receipts weren't a thing yet, so there's no way to know. Well, they who... probably know. It's a small town. They know who it is. No, but he's wearing the mask. Mm. <laughs> well, I I assumed it was him because he never takes it off. But how do I know someone else didn't just put it's one on? No, he put a different mask over that mask. Oh shit! A happy mask. But he still had his socks on. They knew. They knew. Then what? We go back to the bar again? No. We're. This is where we we started our party. We're kind of getting to the party. We, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, we're at the party. Ladies over there pull shark in it. Let me show you how to do it. She puts a little backspan on it. That was that ball the up. easiest shot in the world. No, you would have shot that, and the cue ball would have rolled right in with the with the ball. You not maybe, you but it's lost. not impressive at all. That's good backspin, but you know what's impressive? This is when our old little three hot dog deep throating queen comes walking <laughs> out there, the real fucking princess of this town, Fiona. <laughs> the <ogre>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking walk. I'm just like, where has this queen been this whole movie? <laughs> My queen. And I like the welcome home. <laughs> <laughs> I like the movie's restraint, not putting the big girl with the big guy. You know, that could have been Hollis's girl, and it would have been like, really, we're just doing a big on big. You guys like to do that? Nah, man, that's too easy. Get her a nice little man. She can crush an eight. Like Daniel. No, nah, I'm just in my head. She, I'm going like, yeah, Daniel might be into it because she smells like hot dogs. <laughs> And she'd break his pelvis, and he likes that. And she could pick me up by squeezing my head and, you know, going up. Yeah, It'd give you little kisses on your top of your head. <laughs> uh, little kisses? Uh, little kisses, and we got death by hot dog water, and then I say, Axel, please don't. So is this when we're getting awkward, we're going to have a little fight, a little party foul? Uh, yeah, a fight in big quotations. Yeah, because uh, we'll, we'll, uh, TJ walks into the party, and Axel's like, have you seen Sarah? And he's like, it's not my turn to watch her. Oof. And I'm like, but it, but it was. Yeah, but then... Are they taking turns? Apparently. Yeah. Are, they, are they taking turns on her? No, oh, the whole town is. You leave for a week, <laughs> and you know what? New man. What? Uh, you left me. Again? I went to the grocery store <laughs> to pick up milk for years. It's a cereal. little exaggerated, but... You always think that, Sarah. Towel snap. Choo choo. Towel snap. Yeah, she, Look, but she's tell Sam, okay. Tell I laughed Sam. at this because while they're fighting, you're like, "Yeah, go ahead and tell her." TJ's all like, mm, "I'm gonna say." She's like, mm, "I got my own mouth." But then after she says that, they she doesn't say anything else, so they just talk over her again. Because I guess it's Men. really not about her, is it? No, they want to fuck her. each they other. Yeah, yeah, they were best friends. That's what this is about. TJ left them both. She got in the middle of their relationship. Yeah, and yeah, she's got her own mouth to go get a hot dog. Okay. <laughs> Also, not enough chicks eating hot dogs. <laughs> this is true. I don't know how TJ doesn't see this punch coming from a mile away. He oh. stands there and takes it to the face. TJ gets his ass kicked. He's a lover, not a fighter, because he does nothing. Yeah, he ugh, the shit beat out of him. He's talking all big and bad. And then John Candy comes over there and breaks it up. And then make, he kicks TJ out because he can't kick Axel out. Or, sorry, no, he kicks Axel out because he can't kick TJ out because it's my TJ's. Fall, yeah, mine. Owns the yeah. mine. But as a Axel's leaving, he steals that beer. He and he opens it on his head. opens it on his way out. Yeah, angrily. Chugging that. You ever open like, like a beverage angrily? Angrily? Look, uh, we've all been there. No. You got to be careful because what if your fingy slips into the little hole and you cut yourself? Oh, I'm dead. Dead. Now, okay, hear me out. Axel doesn't need to be that mad. He needs to go to a little website I set up called OnlyMiners.com. Okay. But it's very important you spell that correctly or you're going straight to jail. Huh. And uh, and what um, what does this in website Canadian, do? Canadian, how do you spell that? Oh, it's like OnlyFarmers.com, where it's, you know, miners go on there to find love. E-R, not O-R. Mm, so they're finding lovers, not lovers? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know. What is even happening now? Look, that OnlyMiners.com joke was gold. So, look, Axel leaves all mad, he's sitting outside, he's sulking, he's having some, listening to some, like, power ballads or something. Then we got, like, another couple went off because they're going to go get laid on some hard-ass benches. And the lady's like, <laughs> how do you get those suits down? And he's like, oh, you just pull the thing. Like, great, do it. And you drop someone's dirty-ass mine soup on top. Soup. Mine suits on top of uh, where you guys are about to make sweet right, love. Right, so the thing to pull it down is like below the actual suit, right? Yes, yeah. it has to be. So then, so then, how does this thing that happens later happen? Oh, it's Canada. It's like a mouse trap contraction kind of thing. It's all you pull one, and it just sets off 
a series of but unfortunate... But she pulled one and it didn't do that. That's not the takeaway, Daniel. The takeaway from this is you're, you're making out with someone and then they start talking about the clothes that are hanging around you. What's your takeaway from that? <laughs> that she wants to go with him. More than that, not only does she start talking about the... She's like, mm, oh, he's kissing me great. Mm, what are those hanging clothes? Oh, well, you know what we need? <laughs> a beer. And then as soon as he leaves, you see a beer right next to her. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm, she didn't want it. I got, she, she wanted to go with him. Well, she did want to go with him back. Mm-hmm. They wanted, she, because... she, she, she asked if they could go together. Poor so that she wants could, to be so that she could rejoin the party. Nobody wants to be fucking on untreated wood. You're gonna get splinters all up in your hoo ha. Well, I don't have a hoo ha, so it's not my problem. Yeah, but now we get a head in the fridge. Nobody sees but us, and a heart in the hot dogs. Now those jokers. Two questions: Would you still eat those hot dogs? I'm not gonna eat a boiled hot dog. Uh, yeah, who eats? I would. You've eaten boiled hot dogs are the worst. They're okay. No, they're not. Yeah, they're all right. They're, they're fine. I would rather eat a raw hot dog than a boiled hot dog. I eat raw hot dogs all the time, though. Right. As well. That's why we don't Second get question. In, like small spaces with you. Yeah. Oh, that's fair. Is the broth with the boiled heart in it strong enough to make you a Wendigo? Like, if you don't eat yes. the heart, but you eat the broth. Yes, I would say yes. I feel like, I think it's more like a magical essence. I think you got to eat the heart, Daniel. Because no, so, bits are falling off of the heart. And mm-hmm. like getting dissolved into the stew. Eh. Does soup? it absorb into the hot dogs? But the so, heart. I was going to open oh, my hot dog in the hot dogs. Called, uh, mm. Yeah, called uh, Winda Dogs. Winda Dogs. Winda Duck. Oh, Richie. I don't know Winda Duck. I'm saying Richie. God no. Oh, that's his, that's his memoir. Duck. <laughs> well, that lady. She, <laughs> you got to uh, know that... when to fold them and know when to duck them. <laughs> that lady who clearly didn't want the sex, she really blew under pressure. Under pressure. Do, 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 do. And then a man comes back and he hears the shower run. And he's like, oh, yeah, hell yeah, shower sex. And I'm like, you were kind of stank before. Yeah, but water is not a lubricant. We have mentioned the croc, I believe. Now, the shot of her getting um, terrorized with all the minor clothings falling down, like the wide shot of that looked really good, I thought, because I was like, oh, this looks terrifying. Then the close ups of her doing it just looked funny to me. That's fine. The out of focus shot of the water coming out of her mouth when she's discovered. Fantastic. So good. Fantastic. Yeah. I want it. I want a, I want a fountain point. in my lobby that looks just like it. Okay. Do you, you have, have a, a lobby? A beautiful stone. Don't you? <laughs> I don't think I do. Oh, I'm sorry. You're in America. Good. Your foyer. Do I have a foyer, Kenny? That little breezeway could it's be a, a breeze, foyer. It's a mud room is what they call it. No, the mud room's in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Towel snack. I've got now, several this... mud rooms because you have to cycle through them because it gets bad. <laughs> it gets real bad. Now we got we we split the party up because some ladies never to split see the, the party. Never split it. You'll find out why. We got a, we got we got some people going down and we're going on a mine cart ride and I love which they I shouldn't do because ladies levels. aren't allowed in the mine. This is true. What's a tipple? A, a tipple? A tipple? It's three quarters of a, a pick. No, you just made that up. Yeah, pretty sure he points at, like, the ground or Shouldn't something. Happen. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> I don't remember what he said it was, but it's something. I'm just going to be, hee They're down there. <laughs> Show enough. And then the party, the party down there in the mine wants to split up because this one dude's trying to take this lady over there to get freaky with her in the mine. He's like, hey, we'll catch up with you in 10 minutes. And I'm like, no lady wants to get soot in her vagina. She ain't giving it up down there, man. Well, okay. How they asked, I think it's Hollis, how far down does it go? And do you remember what he says? Because all the way? No, because I think I heard 300 miles. He, they, he didn't say 300 miles. That's too many miles. He might have said 300 meters. I don't think it That's was meters. More. I think they, it, it wouldn't be miles because they don't use miles. Yeah, they don't use miles. I know, so and, that, and that's impossible. I said that. Do they use miles? I don't actually know. Oh, they're probably on the metric system. You just said they don't. Okay, I don't know. When you watch this movie... You, you go back and you listen. I think he says 300 something. It sounds like miles. And that's just impossible. And the room they go into. I don't think it's impossible. 300 it impossible? miles de- like straight down. Not impossible. 300, impossible. 300 lengths of I've my done it in Minecraft. What he said. Oh, oh, yeah. Is that right? I think the farthest we've yeah. gone is what? Seven, seven and a half. No, we've I think we've gone 300 in this movie. In this movie. And this well, is where China... the rain of fire dragon was found. Oh, oh. I do know that China has dug tunnels straight through the earth to come out the other side. I Obviously. do recall that. Yeah, that's childhood. how they get from here and there. Hither and th- th- thither. 
hey, dude, his lady, his lady ain't gonna be thither and nobody because she was dead. And so he came running back to the party. So now the people upstairs of the mine know that there's dead stuff going on and the phone lines are cut. So you know what? Only you guys leave to go get the cops. So I was, I was suspicious of, uh, is it TJ? The guy who, because like he picks it up, but only he tries. So maybe he's lying about the phone line, but that wasn't oh, the case. So you think it's uh, the, you were thinking it was the same as the remake at that point? Yeah, but I think you guys told me when we did the remake that that it wasn't the same. But there I don't remember differences. Look, I'm looking, and I'm like my buddy what I'm over here. He's gonna save the girl now, and he's gonna give her the old coal miner's daughter treatment. What is that? You know. Anyway, I the don't dude know. That's why I'm asking. What what starts is starts busting all the lights? No, 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 no. <laughs> what is the two people... what is the old coal miner's <laughs> daughter treatment? You know, I don't. But then, but then those other two people started drilling each other, and you knew they was gonna be drilling each other. So don't act surprised when you see it. I'm still stuck on this coal miner's daughter. What is this? You ever get out of there before the coal miner comes back home? <laughs> She's clamped down onto me. Oh, no. Oh, no. And I yelled, leave John Candy alone. He took some nails to the face. Yeah, he put up a good fight. And that his girl, you know, her man is dead. She has no reason to live anymore. He was the best of us. And I said, you just leave her behind to block out the maggot layer because it's hard to get everyone through the maggot layer. Oh, at once. right. Oh, okay. Dude, and my little, her. my little paladin hammers that are like always spinning around me, they don't work in there. Useless down there. And then I, I took a moment to remember Hollis and be like, Hollis is my favorite. And now I'm sad. The rest of this movie is sad times because Hollis is gone. But then the movie changes and we're getting out of here. We're trying to climb this ladder and it feels like a Resident Evil game. No, 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 no. This ladder this is the fucking ladder that Snake climbs in Metal Gear Solid yeah, 3 that goes well, on forever. Right, because, Daniel, you might not have heard this, but it actually went 300 miles straight down. That explains it. <laughs> yeah. And then we're so we're spending five minutes climbing this ladder only to the fucking, I guess, get scared and then decide to climb well, back down. It seemed like someone even got lost. Like, hey, slow down. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Patty's not going as fast. And what if we get separated on the one way you? ladder? That's. Uh, oh, yeah. She had to, like, get up behind her and be like, it's okay. It's okay. This is dangerous now because now you're like up, up in her business, and if she falls, you're gonna fall. Yeah, if she starts even yeah. freaking out and flailing, oh man! But you know what, Howard, Howard, good head. Hughes, I said heads up. That's pretty good too. And then I said TJ's with two chicks at the same time, and then he sent him away because he really loved Axel the whole time. And that's when uh, what's her face, Patty, gets stabbed in the chest, and I was disappointed that she didn't get killed the same way that she described her dress. And then we get another minecart level. And this one's more exciting. These things are hard. You got to time the jumps, dog. Have you covered Axel pretend falling into the water? Yeah. So uh, once that happens, we're like, I mean, did you figure out Axel was the killer at that point, Daniel? No. Really? I, I was like, maybe because it shows like somebody like or something there's, like going down. There's bubbles and there's yeah. a hat. Like, yeah. I'm like, huh. Yeah, so if Dead. so, if it's not him, I just thought maybe it, maybe it was it Henry Henry Bowers. Maybe it was him. Henry, ba- Henry Bowers. Henry Bowers. Henry Bowers. Henry Bowers. Don't you want it? Don't you want it? Look, they're fighting on the mine cars carts, which that level's already hard enough. And TJ and you don't you know, really Harvey, see that anymore. Harvey Dent fall off the thing. It's not really a thing. It's not really a thing. But then the mine cars stop, and I thought, like, Sarah's, like, grabbing, like, the pickaxe, and she's going to get down there. But I thought she was going to, like, top rope it and drop, like, a people's elbow from the fucking top Instead, of the Instead, she carts. just says, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> here, you go. <laughs> here you take it. Here you go. Here you go. And... I have my own mouth, then, thank you. Here you go. Here you go. I have my own mouth. I use mouth to say, here you go. Now, they go, they go running, and they sneak into this little side area there that has a board across it that says danger keep out and this is as the the police folk are coming down the same tunnel this is yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the well, chief, there's a light on there's a light installed there the chief has got the whole town to go down into the mine now oh evil dies tonight evil yeah, dies, evil dies tonight. tonight that's right yeah yeah, yeah 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 okay okay but if they're supposed to keep out of there why they install a light in there so you can see to not keep to not go in uh, if you don't see it then you might accidentally go in there but if you can see it then you can oh, avoid it. It takes more yeah, energy to remove it. Okay, you need a little place. You need a little fight club area for when you have your epic pickaxe versus shovel battle. It was epic. And then mass be ripped off. And we see that's not Harvey Dent at all. <gasps> Who is it? That's Axwell. Why? And it's like, why? Why, Axwell? Because why? Harry killed Pa. Harry killed Papa. 
Right, but that's not really a good reason, I would say. Well, it's... Okay, here's what I wanted out of that. I'm fine with that. That's fine. What I wanted, though, is he sees Daddy get killed, and blood gets, like, splattered across his child little face. That's that what did, I, That did happen. That did happen. No. Yeah, it did. I thought he got splattered. He got splattered. Oh. Then I... Okay, never mind. This movie gave me everything I wanted. <laughs> yeah, but then he decided, like, look, Daddy, Papa was killed for a reason. You guys were not respecting the reason Papa was killed. If my papa had to die because there was party, then you're, you oh. have to die like my papa. When really what he should be doing is spending his energy either killing their papas or fucking them. Or fucking them, or both, in that order. Doesn't matter. All I'm saying is now TJ wins the girl, and I'm like, but he's going to leave town again. Yeah, by default. But Because he's leave it's town by again. default because the other guy doesn't have a, two arms anymore. Yeah. You can't hug without baggage. two arms. But she still wants Axel. She goes running back there because, like, he's still alive. And like, That's oh. true. And then she reaches down to touch his She has his second hand. thoughts because then she's, like, putting it together. Like, you know, a lot of this, this is a lot of work. If he's willing to put yeah. in this much work over a stupid holiday, what's he yeah. going to do for our anniversary? Oh, it's going to be the best anniversary. And he grabs her arm. Got her. Okay, now this is where the movie, right at the end, decides it's going to go straight to the ridiculous. Me! He, <laughs> yeah, he, he cuts yeah. his arm off. And he's like, <laughs> Sarah, be my bloody Valentine. Hey, Man, you I'm went coming. Hanniger. You went kooky, kooky real quick. He showed that crazy, like he was burying that crazy. I'm waiting in hell for movie. you. And then he just let it out. Waspinator like, is coming. <laughs> Waspinator loves you. Waspinator wants Valentine. This candy should have been the start of the candy. slasher series. Is there not? Is there not like a, a squeakquel? Nope, just that should have been the start of Beast Wars, weird. but because it's like yeah. set up for a sequel. But then, but then Ryan the saying credits. the squeak, Ryan saying the sequel is Beast Wars. Is that what he's saying? It is. The Beast, Wars is Beast Wars is. We yes. get the the best you say Beatles credits. <laughs> yeah, Beatles, Beatle, Beatle Wars. You put them together, <laughs> they fight over <laughs> little <damn> morsels <laughs> of food. The VR Troopers. We get the best credits theme song since Arachnophobia. We get the Ballad of Harry Warden. How's it go again, Ryan? <laughs> Once upon a time, on a sad valentine, in a place known as Hannigar Mine. It's so good. Yeah, I agree. It was really good. Uh, you guys like this movie? Yeah. It's it's good. The remake is better. Remake is miles, miles better. Yeah, this feels like the like a first draft. Or for our Canadian people, kilometers better. Yeah, I do like the remake better, but this is still a really solid movie, especially, you know, for all the random ones that are throwing at us at those in those days before we were alive. This one stands pretty tall. That's why I'm like, I can't believe it didn't get a franchise. It shouldn't stand tall because it should it would have to hunch over in the mine. Oh, that's true. It hurts your back. Did you like them flip flopping the killer between this and the remake? Or do you think the killer should have been the uh, I'm the, fine the with the remake killer. Estate? I don't really. This yeah. one is uh, I think I think they they handled the what was his problem in the remake? Well, he oh, caused the, uh, this disassociative yeah. bullshit. I think they handled that yeah. better. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. Any other recommendation? Uh, yeah. Maybe Maybe you've heard me recommend this before. Maybe not. But uh, Deadly Premonition. Maybe the uh, My Bloody Valentine remake. Now, why would you recommend that? Because it's Valentine's Day and you guys should watch a Valentine's Day movie on Valentine's Day. And release a Valentine's podcast on Valentine's Day like we did last year. Like we did, totally. 100%. Nailed it. Revisionist revisionist time cop. <laughs> revisionist time cop. Uh, you know, go watch your other slashers of the time. You know, your your Fridays, your Are there any Halloween, other Valentine's your... Day horror? Yes. I feel like there is, yeah. I'm picturing a mask, but not a gas mask. Like a... Like, like a, a cute? Yeah. It's like a little... Like a porcelain doll porcelain type doll. mask. What is that called? Is that Valentine's Day? <laughs> I'm picturing like a Cupid kind of thing. I think... Was Alice Sweet Alice on Valentine's Day? No. But watch whatever we're thinking of. It's probably April Fool's Day. Wouldn't that have been uh, April Fool's Day? No, oh, no, it's no. Day. Is that from that movie? No. Garbage oh, okay. Day <laughs> is Silent Night, What's Deadly Silent Night? Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. Two. Oh, yeah. okay. What does he say? It's Garbage it's Day! It's garbage, garbage Day! day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one called Valentine. Okay. And that kind of looks... Feel like that's it, I think though. that's it. Pontypool was on Valentine's Day? Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, I like Pontypool. 
But I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's a Valentine's Day themed horror. Well, how about Bride of Chucky? There you go. Tiffany uh, Valentine. Yeah, okay, I'll allow that one. Now up next. Oh, what is up next? We've got The Sweet Blood of Jesus. What's that? It's uh the second movie in our Black History Month coverage. What what was the first? Wait. Wait, the first one can... is was Tales from the Hood. That we watched, Daniel. Right. You know this. Oh because we've oh, watched okay. it. Oh, fuck. Morty, I fucked it it up again. Oh, Morty, I fucked up the timeline, Morty. (laughs) Oh, Morty. Morty. (laughs) That's confusing to me because I haven't watched in any of these. Not even the movie we just did. We could tell. Yeah. So Uh, go listen to the hairy hairy balls of Warden and slap him. Wait, what? And as always, I've been your horrible host who's always down for another moose head, a Kenny. I've been your dwarven miner, Daniel. I've been your <laughs> Mabel Jerky Ryan. Oh, instead of like Maple, Mabel. Wow. What if? Now I'm just picturing this like movie, but it's done with the dwarves from uh, The Hobbit. The dwarves or the dwarves? The doors. Dwarves. The doors, you know, Jim Morrison. So imagine it's all these little bearded dudes that are right. all grumpy. And that was my thing when I said when I did my exodus. I said that I've been your dwarf. Yeah, I don't know where this idea came to me. It's, uh, stuff just comes <laughs> to me like that It probably came to you from when I when I said that I was the when I did my exit thing. You know how we do the so, exit things. So get out. So there when I did my exit thing, I said, I said, I'll see you next time. <laughs> <old coal miners. laughs>